G'day, I grew up in the outback in a little place called Birdsville, where my love for the outdoors and for the people was born within me and still is very strong today. However, over the years, I now have I now known 16 friends who have suicided and I've had enough. So I initially started this project as a suicide prevention cause. And then after looking into the stolen generation and what's happening in our own backyards, and then realise that it's happening today, every day, and it's accepted, where people are just giving up on their family units. Nobody wins, everybody loses, it's very sad, and especially for the children. So through the utilisation of outdoor adventure, my aim is for people to reconnect not only with themselves, but with their loved ones and their children. If we go through this process, and at the end of the day, one couple reconnects, or one person doesn't take their own life, because they've seen through this show how to never give up and we've succeeded. G'day, I'm Al Thomas. And I'm Karen Knight. And this is Never Give Up. Currently we're sitting in a bingo cave out at One Tree Hill near Birdsville. On the way out back. Not only will we be taking you off the beaten track here, but we're... all over Australia. <laughs> and we're going to go straight to the heart. Because we've met some amazing Australians on our journey. And they've moved us with their stories of pride and hardship and strength. So we've asked them to all come together and we'd like to share their stories with you. I'm in a gay relationship, which can be a bit tricky, having a boy. It's extremely hard. Mm. I'm not finding it hard, it is hard. This is us, yeah. At this bit in the middle, we're like, we're partners. And I'm just like, Ooh. and we couldn't cope with that. It was like too good to be true, so we fucked it up and completely sabotaged it. It was a quite a heartbreaking experience for anyway. We're going to try and close the gap on inequality and isolation finally get to the conclusion that all people are from one tribe. Participants will be chosen through advertising to the community, where the community nominates people to us. Then we'll go through an interview process, where then we'll then choose people to participate in their local outdoor adventure challenges. Then we will bring all the people from across Australia that we've met through the show to a starting point of Birdsville where the participants will share a bike with their loved one or spouse or child or whatever the case may be. We'll be guided across the Simpson Desert on a massive team building exercise by the Aboriginal elders from the Wangaruri tribe where we'll be following their dream time story where everybody must get there as one tribe. Now if we end up with a couple that rides off into the sunset at the end of it for a happy ever after we've also brought fairy tale to a reality. And that's where we've succeeded. That's the beginning of a new future, the blending of two cultures, and the process of never give up has begun. This is the start of where this last adventure is. Yes, yes. And this is where we're going to be 25 bikes, yes. 50 people on motorbikes. They're going to go from here straight across to Uluru. They've all got to get there. Anybody breaks down, they've got to work out how to get them there. Anybody falls off and injures themselves, they've got to work out how to get there. <laughs> A whole heap of four wheel drives, a whole heap of different characters, and we're going to bounce them, trash them, <laughs> freeze them, starve them, a whole array of different other things, just to touch people's hearts, to form one tribe. From here, across 782 sand hills, flooded creeks, which is usually dry desert country. So it's going to be lots of extreme temperatures, isolation, rough terrain, and they're going to discover strengths that they never knew they even had, and skills that they didn't know they could cope with. They're going to hurt where they never thought they could. <laughs> oh, okay, think they can do it? We're doing it. We're going to do it. Stories that have been handed down for hundreds, thousands of years even. Yeah. Of our dream time stories, and the dream time stories are just explanation of how the land is mapped in the stories and you have to learn the stories to be able to find your way across the country and all these features in the landscape are important, play important roles in the dream time. We're going to be taking them out of their comfort zone and into their new world where they're going to be more comfortable not only with themselves but with the other people around them. It's going to be very challenging and it's going to be a lot of tears, blood, sweat and tears. And lots of laughs. And lots of laughs.